Hey everyone, happy February, happy African American History Month. This is Chemina Okazim, your Tuesday tutor with the nerd knowledge. As you can see, I'm still not playing my Strandberg. The reason for this is that the first video that I wanted to put up with my Strandberg um, has particular significance to me. I want to dedicate it to a teacher that is no longer here and I wish he were here to celebrate that moment. My injury put me back a little bit because when I put the video out, I want it to be perfect. So that's why I'm delaying using it for the Tuesday tutor. That being said, let's get down to business. So last week it was about stretches. I'm going to end up doing another video about stretches this month, but right now we're going to talk a little bit about some things you can do when you first get started picking up a guitar before you even play anything. So some of these exercises are exercises that I thought, ah, why am I still doing this? Because I don't really end up using this particular thing in a tune, but I think that's just because I started having less time to practice. So I started trying to cut corners. So one of the most popular that they'll show you is the one finger per fret method where you're doing something like this. And so on, right? So you want to take this idea. Now there's always a debate on what to do. Do you come back the same way? Do you go up a fret? Right? The thing you want to do with this, even if you already know how to do this, and even if you can play it really, really fast, you want to make sure that you are synchronizing your two hands. Down, up, down, up with your right hand or left hand, depending on if you play switch. The other thing you want to make sure to do is try not to flap your fingers. Right? Try to use just the amount of pressure needed to play the note and try not to do this. If you want to add an, an additional challenge for yourself, play this, then move just one finger, then the next, then the next, then the next. All right? Try that on for size, see how it works, and we'll do some more next week.